Hi friends, welcome to the channel uh, IT Certifications Guru and I would like to give you 10 most important Oracle SQL interview questions for freshers. So these are 10 most important SQL inter Oracle SQL interview questions exclusively for freshers but experienced developers can also see this video so that they will get to know about these questions. Let's start with first question. What is use of NVL function in Oracle? So NVL function is most important function to replace the null value with another value. Replacing null value with another value, NVL. Select NVL null Amit from dual, which will give you the output as Amit. So this is the example for NVL function. Just remember that NVL function is used in most of the PLSQL blocks, which has been written uh, uh, in real industry. So NVL function is most important function. What is unique key? Unique key is nothing but the columns which are uniquely identifies the values. There are more than one unique keys for each table. Entry of null values is allowed in the unique key. Oracle does not permit you to create primary key or unique key on same column. So unique key is the key which identifies unique value for your table. So it is nothing but one constraint. So syntax for this constraint is create table table name, column name, data type, constraint, constraint name, unique. And in bracket, you can add your column name or unique key name. Unique key name, uh, naming extension will be uc underscore column name. This is not mandatory, but it will uh, give you the bifurcation of uh, multiple keys. Unique key or primary key or foreign key mostly used in normalization for the databases. Next is what is difference between varchar and varchar2. So this is most 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 important question in the interviews. So varchar can store up to 2000 bytes and varchar2 can store up to 4000 bytes of memory space. So varchar will occupy the space of null values whereas varchar2 cannot occupy the spaces for null values. This is most important difference. So, Varchar can store the null values in the memory space, but Varchar 2 cannot store it in the memory space. So, if you consider the scenario for multiple or millions of records, then Varchar 2 is fast than, faster than Varchar. So, just remember to use the Varchar 2. How to represent comments in Oracle? So there are two ways to represent the comments in Oracle. One is single line comment, other is multi line comment. So when you are using two dashes together and add something, add some text that is a single line comment and multi line comment, star uh, slash star star slash. In between that, you can add your big comment or huge comments. Next is what is difference between unique key and primary key. So this is most most important interview question during the interviews. Primary key constraint. First primary key constraint. Primary key will not accept the null values in the table column. It will not accept the null values in the table column. That is main main important difference. Unique key accept the null values in the table. Second is primary key is basically used to identify the unique records in the table. And unique key's main task is it is used to remove the duplicate values from the table with exception of null entry. Third is we have only one primary key per table. We can have more than one unique keys for the one table as it accepts the null value. Okay. Next is what are views in SQL? So this is also most important questions related to views. Views are nothing but the logical structure of the table where we can fetch the data from different tables or same table. There are two types in the views. One is simple view, other is complex view. Simple view has been created on only on single table. So let's say your table has uh, eight columns and you require only three columns. So you can just create, create view, view name using that three columns, one simple view. So, single table view is a simple view. Complex tables are views which create more using more than one tables, which can use multiple joins, clauses, 
everything so complex views are the views created on multiple tables just remember that thing so uh, where we can use these views so views are most importantly used in real industry for reporting purpose so when uh, senior management or client asks for a uh, report so at that time you can create one complex view from multiple tables and you can create uh, page that data and create the report so let's discuss about next question what is mean by set operators set operators are nothing but the operators which are used to connect two tables and fetch the records from the two tables we need to follow one condition that the table set or columns and table set of column 2 table set of column 1 and table set of column uh, table set 1 columns and table set 2 columns are same so that columns might have to be identical with same names let's say employee table contains employee number and employee name so employee one table should also contains employee uh, employee name and employee number the same identical column names and data types also must have to be same sql set operators combines the result of two queries or components on one single result following our set operators in sql oracle so union union all intersect and minus these are four sql operators so for set operators you must require to uh, remember one thing like it should have to have same table structure same table column uh, same table columns and uh, the data type must have to be same else it will not run or it will not work for two tables okay next question is what is difference between row id and row num so that is also important question so you must have to know about what is row id what is row num where it is used okay so row id row id is nothing but a physical memory allocation for one row row num is nothing but the sequence which is allocated to the data of uh, for data retrieval patch okay so row number is particular number row id is physical memory allocation Row ID is permanent to that row which identifies the address of that row. Okay. It is permanent to that row. And row number is temporarily allocated sequence to the row. Row number is sequence. You just, uh, just remember row number is sequence. Row ID is physical memory location for the row. Row ID is 16 digit hexadecimal number which uniquely identifies row. Row number is numerical sequence allocated to that row temporarily. It is temporary location. Row ID returns a physical address of that row. Row number returns a sequence of number for that row. Row ID is automatically generated unique ID of the row and it is generated at the time of row insertion. So row ID is always generating at the time of row insertion. And row number is the dynamic value for the row which retrieved along with a select statement. Okay. Row ID is fastest means uh, means of accessing the data. Row number is not related for accessing the data. So there is another tricky interview question interviewer might ask you. Like if you want to retrieve one row from employee table where you don't know the employee number but you require to retrieve that with without using where condition uh, without using uh, any column in the where condition so in that case you require to use the row id as a column you require to fetch the row id and you can use the where condition with that row id so that is one of the interview question asked in interviews next is what is null in sql null value is a table value in the field that appears to be blank which means a field with null value is filled with no value. Filled with null value is filled with no value. It is very important to understand that null value is different than zero value. So interviewer might ask you like zero value and null value is same or not. So it is not same. 
a filled null value is one of one which left blank during the record creation it left blank during record creation it is not zero value okay next question is what is not null constraint so this is also important interview question by default a table column can hold null values but sometimes there are situations where you cannot hold the null values in the table uh, in banking application most of the banking application your account number should not have to be null or your uh, gender should not have to be null in that cases uh, you uh, the you require to use the not null constraint so not null constraint enforces field to always contain a value okay so this means you cannot insert a new record or update a new record without adding the value in this field okay so this is all about not null constraint so i guess i have covered most of the interview questions for pressure which is related to oracle sql if you like this video if you have any suggestions kindly comment in the comment section if you want this powerpoint presentation please comment your mail id in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, click on to the bell icon for these new uh, videos Thanks, thanks team, thanks all.